let us move to the next problem so the problem says which duration had the most number of trips so basically into which r which r duration i am seeing the most number of trips on the application so i'll just do a selection from trips and uh, we have this duration column you can see the last column and i'll do a count of distinct trip id from trips and later on i will group by onto the basis of the duration the similar kind of logic i'll be applying here as what i've done into the previous questions because because it is kind of similar only and uh, i want to know which duration had more trips so i should use the rank function definitely the top one won't work because let's say two duration they had the same number of trips then what so we should show the best data whatever possible from our end so i'll just do a select star and i'll do a rank order by count and descending to this statement and you can see the rank has been provided now from this query i want to filter out the topmost trip which had the topmost duration which had the most number of trips so i'll a is equal to one that's it let us execute the statement and you can see the duration one had the most number of trips that is 53 trips occurred in the duration one so this is the information which is have which we are having because it is pretty much important to know at which you know time interval the highest number of passengers are taking the trips onto my application the next problem so which driver customer pair had the more orders so it has happened with me also so i would book a cab and same driver comes up on to two or four times it has happened with me so let us get an interesting pair of a driver and a customer who has traveled the most in a pair so i'll just do a, a select start from trips and we'll see how to proceed with this problem so this is also kind of a pair problem so if you remember we have solved a pairing problem of location from location to which two location had the highest number of trip so similarly which two driver customer pair have the highest number of trips just do this i'll execute the statement and later on i'll be providing the rank here so i'll from uh, by count descending and from this uh, same logic i'll be getting the topmost rank paired so i'll just do a select star from this where rank is equal to one that's it i'll execute this and you can see driver id is 21 and customer id is 15 and similarly driver id is 17 and customer id is 96 had the most number of combination pairing where they had the most number of orders so this is the information which we are having let's move to the next problem so this is search to estimate rate so this is kind of similar thing which we have done into our excel sheet where we got to a point to determine the number of searches which happened and the number of you know the estimate which we received so this is 81 percent similar thing which we need to do into the excel so i'll just do a select count of or rather we'll do a sum of searches divided by sum of from trip details and do one thing uh, this would be into the numerator correct it was the total number of searches and we want to know the total number of estimate rates which happened in from the total number of searches which took place which is that column we want to know 
I'll do one thing and do a select star from trips. I'll execute this. So search to estimate rate. So I'll write your searches dot estimate. Let us execute this. It's showing a zero. Why? It should show 81, correct? I'll do one thing. I'll multiply with 1.2 and this will convert into a decimal number and you can see i've got 0 0.81 which is 81 percent i'll do one thing to get 81 percent in terms of percentage i'll multiply with 100.0 you can see i've got the correct answer so 81 percent of the search has got an estimate this is the same kind of problem i'll i would encourage you to apply the same logic which i've applied here you want to waste our time so exactly the same code to accept acceptance rate code to booking rate booking cancellation rate is also the same which area got the highest trips in which duration so you know i have this table select short from trips and i want to know which area so you have all of these areas which are present location from so all of these areas all of these duration which i'm having here so i want to know in which duration which area got the highest number of trips so basically let's say from 5 pm to 6 pm the area number is 16 got the highest number of trips also let's say from 4 pm to 5 pm area number is 32 got the highest number of trips so First, we'll have the duration and into all of those duration, which is that area which got the highest number of trips. We want to know. I'll do a, a duration. I'll apply duration and I will get location from. Let us count the distinct of trip ID. From trips. and we'll group by this is of duration and location from that's it let us execute this query and you will get to know you can see all of these duration and we have this location how many trips happened for example in the duration one which is between you know from 12 am to 1 am in the location one only one trip happened into the duration six which will be let's say from i'll go to the duration table 5 a.m to 6 a.m into the location one two trips happened so i want to know in which duration which area got the highest number of trips we'll be using the rank function and the partition by concept I'll just put this into a sub query. So, what is the concept which I'll be using? So, I'll just do a select. Star comma rank over. First of all, I'll create partition. So, of which column partition I'll be creating? So, I'll be creating a partition of the duration column. So, all the duration, let's say duration as one. I have one partition created duration as two I have another partition created and within this partition partition which is has been created of the duration of all the trips which happened in the duration as one I would further rank onto the basis of the count which I am having you can see here so I'll just do a order by count and that too onto the basis of the descending order this will be rank On this table let us execute this thing and now from this query i'll only get the data where rank is equal to one so i'll just do a select star from this where rank is equal to one So you can see within all of these duration, I've got 41 rows. I'll just copy this data into the Excel sheet to help you explain this. 
so within all of these duration i know like just get the column names also so this is duration this is location this is the number of trips happened in the in the particular location this is the rank i'll, I'll just remove this so into the duration one into the location 20 the highest number of trips happened which is four similarly for the duration as two into which location highest number of trips happened it is the dur location number as nine similarly for duration as three you can see there are three rows because the number of trips happened was three into all of these different three locations so that is why we have got all of these three different rows so the, i hope the logic was quite clear for this question this was a kind of tricky level problem which area got the highest trips and in which duration it could be a little bit confusing because you can just see uh, the, the kind of picture which i have presented here is on the basis of the duration like in which duration and uh into all of these particular duration which area got the highest number of trips now the question which could be also interpreted into something like into which area and in which duration they got the highest number of trips so basically uh, area location which is let's say x it got the highest number of trips at six o'clock or between this particular bucket so here we just need to change the partition by bucket which we have created and i'll just copy this i'll just paste this and the partition by which i've created i'll just change this location from let us execute this so the picture has kind of changed because now here we are focusing on the location each of these location in which duration the highest number of trips happened actually so both of these you know data they tell different stories this is how we play around the data which we are having the first problem which we solved was for in the duration which area got the highest number of trips so i'll just write it down for simplicity the so the first problem was which area got the highest number of trips in which duration and the second number of problem was something like duration got the highest number of trips in each of the locations present we just understand the integrities here how does uh, the simple partition by so the column on which we are doing the partitioning how it changes the output to which we are getting so these are very you know minute details which we need to take care of whenever we are doing the analysis so friends this was a basic summary uh, so that i did this to avoid confusion you might get let's move to the next problem which area got the highest fares and cancellations and trips so this is pretty much simple i guess so i'll just do a select chart from trips and i want to know which area got the highest number of fares which is which i can get from here you can see the area is present into both of these tables so let us utilize both of these tables to simplify the problem so which area got the highest fare so location from comma sum of fare from trips and i'll do a group by on the basis of location from let us execute this code you can see we have got this let us put this into the sub query the traditional approach where we rank the columns and get the highest so i'll just do select star and rank over order by there which is into the descending order rank rank is equal to one 
so you can see the location number is six got the highest number of fare uh, which is 30,295 the next thing is which area got the highest number of cancellations which we can derive from the trips details it be two different things which area got the highest number of customer cancellations and which area got the highest number of driver cancellation let us derive both of these things so which area got the highest number of customer cancellation so i'll just do one thing select location comma if you remember when we were deriving the total number of driver cancellations so one means the driver did not cancel so definitely we need to subtract it from the total number of trips which has happened so i'll be applying the same logic so i'll just write here driver not cancelled so that i can get the total number of trips which were cancelled by the drivers from trips details group by location form let us execute this code and as usual i'll apply the same logic i'll copy this paste it here let's rename this as fair sorry let us rename this as scan and execute this and you can see the location number as one has got the highest number of driver cancellations let us do a similar thing for the customer cancellations i'll copy this paste this here let us see what is the column for customer cancellation so it is customer not cancelled the location number as four has got the highest number of customer cancellation so friends this is how we have solved the problem on which area got the highest number of fares cancellations and trips let us move to the next problem which duration got the highest trips and fares so this is a similar problem as above i'll copy this i'll utilize the same logic for duration as well so I'll replace location from to duration let us execute this code you can see the duration number as one got the highest number of fare and to get the highest number of trip ids I'll do a count of distinct trip id I'll execute this you can see the duration number one only had the highest number of trips so friends this was all about the total number of data exploration tasks i would request you to derive more problems from the data which we are having here or if you want me to make another video on to more advanced level of problems what we can solve onto the same data set just comment down i'll be preparing a new video onto the some advanced level problems i believe we solved some easy and medium level of problems into this video but this problem was more about understanding the system the application and how the customer journey footprints it impacts the data which get ingested into the backend table so friends, this was all about into this video so into the next video i'll be preparing a power bi dashboard similar to what we are having onto the website of the namai yatri application so i hope you've liked this particular video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't 